Hi, my name is Alex, and with my group members Nino and Yang, we will be talking about wireless channel interference and the testing we executed to determine its effect on network throughput. So, what is channel interference? Channel interference occurs when two or more wireless access points are operating with signal overlap on the same or adjacent channels. There are two types of channel interference. The first is co-channel interference. This is when multiple access points are operating on the same channel. The access points must share the channel space, which slows down the network performance. The second type of channel interference is adjacent channel interference. Adjacent channel interference occur occurs when access points in close proximity are operating on overlapping channels like 2 and 3 in the 2.4 GHz spectrum. Adjacent interference is more damaging than co-channel interference and results in packet corruption and layer 2 retransmission. To test the effect that co-channel interference has on throughput, we configured two ASIS AC2400 access points on channel 1 and 6 in the 2.4 GHz band. The access points were approximately 50 feet away from each other with a negative 40 dBm overlap in signal strength. Connected to each access point were two MacBooks. One was connected via Ethernet and the other wirelessly. To monitor the throughput, we used a popular networking tool called JPerf. JPerf sets up a client-server relationship between the two machines connected to the access point and records speeds of TCP transmissions between the two. With error injects turned off to limit ambient RF interference, we conducted baseline throughput testing on channels 1 through 6 in the 2.4 GHz band. We used these baseline calculations later in the project to compare with our interference throughput testing. We then moved on to our interference testing. Starting with channels 1 and 6, we used JPerf to run simultaneous tests on both access points. We then moved down channels in increments of 1, testing channels 1 and 5, 1 and 4, 1 and 3, 1 and 2, and 1 and 1. Before we started testing, we predicted that as the RF channels were moved closer to one another, the overall throughput to each wireless client will decrease. We made sure that the other router was turned off in order to get the best results. Our baseline tests show that each channel experienced high throughput. All of the channels were giving average throughput between 128 and 155 megabits per second. After our baseline tests, we began our testing for co-channel interference. We found that when the routers were on channels 1 and 6, their throughput was 149 megabits per second for channel 1 and 146 megabits per second for channel 6. As we continued our testing, the throughput to each of the clients decreased. When the channels were on 1 and 3, the clients received throughput of 86 megabits per second and 100 megabits per second respectively. When both of the routers were on channel 1, the throughputs were 50 megabits per second for the variable router and 84 megabits per second for the control router. We learned that it is best to set the routers on channels 1 and 6 when they are located near each other. Channel 1 is still great to use for a Wi-Fi network, but when implementing multiple APs in an enterprise, the optimal solution is for not all the APs to be on the same channel. As you guys see, our group member Alex Nino stayed before considering the advanced technology device had increased. It is important for us to reduce channel interference in our network. After we accomplished test, we highly suggest that users manually change to non-overlapping channels in 2.4 GHz, which is channel 1, channel 6, and channel 11. Also, moving each AP that is spaced out in love from each other is another way to avoid channel interference in our environment. To in summary, with our hypothesis and what our group get the result from test, we found out Core channel interference has a larger impact on throughput than adjacent interference. The best performance of channel in 2.4 GHz is channel 1, channel 6, channel 11, which is non-overlapping channels. Although the non-overlap channels will eliminate AP channel interference. Thanks for you guys watching. Have a great day.